Muang Tai, known as the Elbow Zombie, does exactly what it says on the tin. He walks forward, often arms outstretched, very zombie-esque, and absorbs a fair amount of damage unflinchingly in order to try and march into range and land elbows. Despite being an elbow fighter, he isn't necessarily a clinch fighter. I say this because to land elbows you have to be in close range, which usually in Muay Thai will end up in a clinch. A Muay Cao stylist, for example, a knee fighter such as Jadvitsa, will be happy to grapple as it's a great place to knee. But the clinch isn't the best place for Muay Thai as if the opponent can tie him up, he is forced to knee and he can't elbow as effectively. He is at his most dangerous entering the clinch where he lands his most damaging blows. He will use clever arm and hand traps to pull his opponent into elbows and his most dangerous weapon is the spearing elbow up the middle. Sometimes he's almost cartoonish with his approach, arms fully extended. He's trying to grab the arms to pull them out the way to elbow. You would think this would make him quite susceptible to punches, a classic untrained, I'd just smack him down the middle, but the arms do a great job of getting in the way of the shot. He pairs a double arm extension with the Thai style long guard, with one arm fully extended and the other hand being close to the head, uses a shield to deflect blows. This is actually quite vulnerable to the uppercut, which is a shot Mung Tai does have difficulty dealing with. The arms outstretched does limit his ability to punch effectively, but the zombie has adapted this to throw sneaky jabs at the middle, often as he's baited the opponent in to also outstretch their arms in an attempt to control Mung Tai's before he can grab. This is where he can often shoot a jab or cross up the middle, catching his opponent by surprise. Like all ties, he kicks well and will use the roundhouse to the body frequently. The roundhouse kick corrals the opponent, keeping them in front of him. If they move to his left, he left kicks trapping them where he can come into elbow. He's always trying to push his opponents back towards the ropes or cage where they can no longer retreat. This is where he'll do his best work as he can chain elbows together. His relentless pressure is suffocating and he draws opponents into wars they don't want, forced to fight fire with fire in an attempt to keep him off. The only purpose of an elbow is to cause damage. You don't use elbows as a setup. It's a technique used to cut or KO and it has to be thrown with full commitment. The elbow zombie is a lot of fun to watch. How can you not love a fighter that's only purpose is to land the shot that causes the most possible damage and he risks his own safety to do it. Once again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and share and you can also support the channel via Patreon, the link will be in the bio.